right, hi everybody. Today we are going to look into integers. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is what are integers. So the integers are the set of whole numbers, their opposites, and zero. So our whole numbers, we have our positive integers on our right side of the number line. So one, two, three, four, five, and so on. We have our negative integers on the left side of our number line, and then zero in the middle. So those are all integers. So what are not integers would be decimals and fractions. All right, and you probably see integers a lot in your everyday life. So we're gonna look at some situations where you might see them in your daily life. So the first thing is five degrees Celsius above zero. We can represent that with the integer Five. Now it's above zero, so that's a positive number, but we do not necessarily need that plus in front. Without any sign, we can just assume it is a positive number. The next one says a debt of $10. For this one, we know it's going to be negative because it's a debt, and it would be negative 10. So there is just two situations in which you will see integers in real life. Next up, we can plot our integers on the number line. When looking at a number line, there's a few different features to it. So we have the actual number line, we have tick marks along the number line, for example these, and then we have something called the scale of the number line. The scale of the number line is going to be the distance between two consecutive tick marks on your number line. So for this one, it will just be one. So now we will plot a few points on our number line below. So the first point we're gonna plot is two. To do this, we just find two on the number line right where that tick mark intersects the line, we plot a point. The next one is negative four, same thing, right where that tick mark for negative four intersects the line, we plot a point. And our last one is zero, we plot a point right at zero. All right, next up we're gonna talk about what are opposites. So opposites are two numbers that are the same distance from zero on the number line, but are on opposite sides of zero. For example, if we look back up here on our number line, three would have an opposite of negative three. That's because positive three is three spots from zero and negative three is also three spots from zero. So they're the same distance from zero on opposite sides of the number line. So to fill in that next part, we just found out that Three's opposite would be negative three. Negative nine's opposite would be positive nine, and zero's opposite is itself at zero because zero is not positive or negative. Another word that you might see used for opposite is called additive inverse. This is our math vocab that we would use for that, and it means the same thing. So additive inverse are two numbers that are in the same distance from zero on opposite sides of the number line or opposites. The last thing we're gonna be talking about during this module is what is the absolute value of an integer? So the absolute value of an integer tells the distance of the integer from zero on the number line. That word distance is super important here. We're always looking to see how far that number is from zero. Because of that, absolute value can never be a negative number. Um, during your discussion this module, you will explore more into why that is true. But for now, let's answer a few of these questions about our absolute value. So the first one, the absolute value of negative three. Negative three would be three spaces from zero on the number line, so our answer would be three. The absolute value of eight would be eight. It stays the same because absolute value of eight means it's eight spaces from zero, so it is eight. And our last one, the absolute value of zero would just be zero because zero is zero spots from zero on the number line. All right, thank you everyone and good luck on your activities for this week and your discussion.